Surrounded by thousands of live scorpions in a laboratory deep in Egypt's western desert, Hamed Abu al Sud carefully handles one of the curved tailed arachnids before extracting a drop of its venom. A mechanical engineer who worked in the oil sector, Abu al Sud decided in 2018 to strike a different path, producing scorpion venom for pharmaceutical research purposes. I'm a little... To extract the poison from the scorpions, we use an electrical device that reduces the 220 volts of electricity to a lower voltage, and we connect the wire from this device to the tail of the scorpion to stimulate it as a risk until the scorpion produces poison to protect itself. Biomedical researchers are studying the pharmaceutical properties of scorpion venom, making the rare and potent neurotoxin a highly sought-after commodity now produced in several Middle Eastern countries. A review published last May in the journal Biomedicines said the hope is to one day use or synthesize them for medicines. When I get scorpions from hunters, we divide them according to the place it comes from and its species, which I separate into categories. Then I put them in the farm according to their food and last extraction date, so as not to be exhausted and get good poison. I know that the scorpion in its normal life in the desert can eat one insect in a year. It reduces the metabolism process and adapts with low food. But we don't want that. We need it to produce poison. So we offer meals containing high amounts of protein, like mealworm. Abul al Sud is from the Dakla Oasis, located in Egypt's vast New Valley province. New Valley province boasts around five different species of scorpions including the sought-after dead stalker, whose venom sells for up to $7,500 per gram. He employs residents of nearby villages for the risky activity. The scorpion hunters earn around 6 to 10 cents per animal.